very frustrating cost. This is what I've got to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I am so in heaven. So we are at Corny Point General Store. Do you want to get a bit of ASMR, Dar? Ready? And it's meant to be the best fish and chips around. I can confirm they're probably pretty, pretty, pretty <gasps> the good. The chips are Daddy, good, and I don't like chips. Well, here we go. Ready? Go together. One, two. Hello. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Easy. What was your rating? What's your rating out of 10? Um, 10 out of 10. It was good, was it? Yeah, I think that's the best fish and chips I've ever had. It was good. Like, the serving was way bigger than you, than would, you would normally get, like, so I added act, a bit of extra yeah. things and I shouldn't have. Did you? Yeah. The cost actually justified the portion. Does that make sense? Yes, correct. Yeah. Right. Eat up the last prawn, girl. We'll go back and have a pack up on the van. I might treat myself to a sneaky ice cream. Something I crave is an ice cream oh, every now and then. Well, I'm gonna have we don't have them in the van. Who likes these? A prawn that cooks look. like a fish. So we pulled up at a new campsite. Gravel Bay, it's called, on the York. And it's extremely tight to get into this spot but we really want to be in this spot because we're right on the water here. Okay. Swimming. And stop. Stop. I'm just on the walkie talkie. Good at the back at the moment. Okay, swing it if you can. Okay, you're fine at the moment. Let me go to the back. Okay, you just watch the car now and keep coming back. You're fine at the back of the van.
We're taking a cheetah's cut down this sand dune. She's a bit spicy. You can follow me. She can go then the dog. Let's do it. Look at that girl. Stay close behind me. Just walk with your heels in the ground. Here I come! Watch out, Daddy! Just on your bum. Ooh, geez. You're gonna have to unclip him. Yeah, the only way. Just let him go. Careful, boy! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Archie! Archie! Alright. Who do you? Oh. We don't need our shoes now. So it's quite up there. Come on, Dal. Stand up. Hi. This is what I got to deal with on a day to day basis. <laughs> Look at her. If that doesn't get your motor running, I don't know what will. Because you grabbed the tree. Yeah. What was this called again? Um, we are at Gravel Bay, which is right. Gravel Bay Bush Camp. Down the bottom of the York. Yeah. Just under um. Corny Beach. Corny, Corny Point. Point. Corny Sorry. Point. Corny Point. But yeah, just come for a bit of explore. Yeah. To get all the rocks. Archie's got the zooms. Go down to the beach now. And that is the van up there. It's probably, say, a 20 metre cliff face. From the video you've seen before, it was a nightmare getting the van in. I'd hate to do it in something that doesn't turn like a truck or a 79 series or something like that. It'd be um, a nightmare. It took me about... 10 minutes to get in, like wiggling it in, but got it in there, nice and easy. Um, yeah, hopefully we can, um, I'm gonna send out the fishing rod tomorrow. If we stay, we don't know, the wind's really bad tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Hi. Okay, now we're going are exploring the rock pools. Here at Gravel oh, God, I saw a Bay. I saw a hermit crab. I saw a hermit crab. The tide is fully out. I saw a hermit crab. So you can see. I saw a crab, mummy. Oh, you can explore all of this area. This is really cool. Yeah. All the rocks just piled on top of each other on the beach here. There's like heaps of different things along here. You got like the boulders. Then you've got like those black, sharpie looking rocks. Oh, like There's also um, like red like rocks over there. This is like a water cave. Yeah, a little water cave under there. Hang on, I need to take my stuff out so I can, oh. so I can see. It's so good exploring yeah, places like okay. this with kids. They just drive on all of this stuff. Hey girl, yeah. you love it. Yeah. Come on. We found a little cave on our walks along the beach. We're mm. really far up now. Mm. Caravans up there. We've explored all of this. And yeah, we're gonna look at this cave. Oh. You could definitely stay in here overnight. Mm. Just be careful of snakes though. The flies are always thick. Mummy, I think it's easier to stand up. Here. Ooh. That's a very bad one. Mummy. Look where I am. Look where I am. I'll start hitting my head. The car's fine at the front at the moment. You can't go any further in though. Okay. It's 
Gotta watch this side of the van tires. What makes you think it's windy here all the time? Look at that tree. <laughs> and then there's right at the top a um, bird's nest. Like what a stupid tree to set up on. I mean like Joy's having a blow wave. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so windy. I think this is our first day in a long time that it's been less than 25 degrees. It is actually really cold. Mm. Might need a jumper. I'm mm. thinking that. We just need some protection today. Yeah, just a, a chill day. Come on, boy. All right, we've been on the road, been on a dirt road now for 40 minutes. Any dust in there, Dale? I think from driving. Well, the corrugations are pretty crap. That dust is from the beach. But where's probably a good place to tell where the dust were coming? Probably near the fridge. God, there's crap everywhere. Damn. No dust. What do you reckon? We just uh, we always forget to turn it on. The van is filthy. Yeah, the van's grabby. But that's not because of the drive we just did. See, this happens all the time. Yeah, that's just normal. Always comes out. But we're at um, a place called Mozzie Flat. It's blowing its ringer out today. So we moved from our last spot and we're sort of amongst the dunes here. Yeah, if you go over the dune, the beach is right there. Do you want to take him up and have a look? Yep. All right. Paisley's going to take his up so he can see the beach. I don't know if the beach is up there. So, isn't this place beautiful? And it's called Mozzie Flat because there's no Mozzies. They just like calling it that. But yeah, are you excited to see the beach? Ugh. It's very hard to get up here. And a little mini blowhole. Let's oh see my. if it goes off. Oh! Oh, <laughs> holy moly. oh my god, that scared me! The waves are just oh, <laughs> pumping up through here. And Dal, if you stand on here, you can feel when the waves hit underneath. Yeah. It's like a little um, cave under there. Oh. <laughs> Did it get daddy? Best thing about your outdoor shower, you can rinse off all the sand before you get back in the van. Hey girl! Yep! So good. Here's my other one. Rinse out my shoes. Right, turn it off now. Good job. Now we're clean and sand free. Yep. Bye bye. And today. throw in a bit of attitude and sass. What's this green stuff we've got out the front? Oh, 
Is the camera on me or you? It's on you. Oh, it's lovely. How good is it? Oh, I am so in heaven. What are we, like, we've I been... just feel instantly happy just getting off that sandy, dirty. We've been off grid for what, three like, weeks now? We're covered in like that white. Oh, my stuff. hands. And I like... just, I'm desperate to get our mats washed. That's what I'm doing right now. But look at this. Archie, how's the grass, mate? I'm apple. The Edithburg wind farm. Jumping pillow right behind us. I'm apple. What's going on here? Cars buddy on chocks now. Because I think the back of the exhaust is about to fall off the back of it. Corrugations and all that sort of stuff. Story of my life. I'm glad, I'm glad it's happening now so I can fix it while I'm in civilization. But yeah, I got permission to clean the car here. I got permission to clean the van here. As long as I do it on the grass, they're okay with that. So, Edith Burr. Quick fact. I worked down here maybe 10 years ago, I think it was, on the wind farm here. So, um, it's a great little town. This poor dog, always getting his face put in things. Aren't you, boy? <laughs> the weather has been shocking. Like, not even come out of your caravan type of weather. So, we've just had a few down days. Um, Tristan is in Adelaide today actually and it's just me and the girl today because we once again needed a new exhaust put on the car so he had to go into Adelaide and get a new exhaust put on the car so once again that's an unexpected cost and a very frustrating cost to have again but anyway that's life I'm just starting to get over it um, to be honest with all the costs that come with it all hi so yeah we've just had a day together today I'll take it and you the can sun put... is actually out which is yeah. nice but it's still just a little bit windy but mm. nowhere near what it's been hey As you walk down to it, there's some incredible artwork. We had a great time here. Paisley loved the natural pool until we saw a boy catch a blue ringed octopus. That definitely freaked me out. That's so cool. Well, yes and no. You don't really want to see them, do you? It looks like a bit of an alien, doesn't it? <laughs> Where are we? Wind farm. Waddle Point Wind Farm. Having a look. If they're all off today, unfortunately. I think they're having a break because the last, oh, what, week has just been so windy. They're probably servicing them. It's ridiculous. So they're off today. The first day with no wind. 
And that's probably another reason they're off. There's no wind. But yeah. I really wish we could go in one. It's pretty cool, hey? We think they're pretty cool. Yeah, look how sharp they are. I know are. a lot of people don't like them. The fact that wind, which is a natural thing, can turn something and give everybody power, I think people should appreciate that they're there. Correct? Yeah. <laughs> In my personal opinion, I think it's a great way to create Watch power. Watch point wind farm. Yeah. What's that? It's 70 metres to the middle, which is called the nacelle. No. The middle, as in the... Like the hub. The big thing at the top there. Yeah. 70 metres high. What's going on, boy? This is his monthly trim. His Central Australia trim. So we're and I'm the hair cleaner. So we're tidying him up and getting all of our stuff ready for our trip up the Oona Data track. It's going to be really hot up there. Into Uluru. We have done a huge, huge grocery shop. Yep. Um, yeah, just getting everything organised, ready to go up the middle. Woo, I've done all the checks on the car, I've just got to finish off the caravan this morning. Um, but apart from that, like, I think we're ready to go. Yeah. We're ready to get into some red dirt. Yeah, so we're off the York now, and yeah. I think we're very happy about that. Yeah, we yeah. We had a great time, like, our most favourite place was there, but we're ready to see something else. See something different. Um, so yeah, this is the end of this video. This is the end of the York Peninsula. That's right. Um, so on so, that note. Yeah, our next video, we're going to do a budget rundown because it'll be the start of the next month and also a Q&A. Our Q &A. first Q&A. We've had a few people asking us questions and stuff like that, so we're going to compile them all. Yes, but also the fact that we are very close to getting a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So yeah. we thought we would do one of those just so everyone can get to know us and yeah, ask, it's a good opportunity ask to, questions that so they here want we are. to So leave your questions below in the comments for this video or on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. And we will put it all together for the next video. We will answer everything. Yes, we're very open books. Yeah. All so right. Yeah. So on that note. Yep. We got a fresh beaver. Yep. Fresh me. Fresh paisley. Fresh male. Well, hardly. <laughs> Fresh Tristan. Well, he's no. getting a haircut next. Yeah, so. I'm, get, I'm getting, I'm getting the clip. So. All right, we'll see you. See you on. in the Flinders oh. Rangers. No, because we're doing the. Oh, we'll see you at the Q and A, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay.